you are like me, you were woken up overnight to the sound of rumblings, lots of thunder and pounding rain, Michelle. Are we going to see more of that overnight? No, we are not. Luckily, you know, I was up actually as meteorologist Brian Slocum was on the air. We were hoping that we could avoid major severe threats, and we really did. We had a couple of isolated severe storms, but no tornado outbreak. So I was up with you. I took some video of the lightning and the storms, and I'll show you that coming up in a little bit. But I want to get to the winds because this is what everyone is dealing with right now. It's pretty intense out there. We've got gusts up to 50, 55 miles an hour possible along those highest ridges from Galax south along the Blue Ridge Parkway. We're talking boom, blowing rock, and even Ennis and Sparta will get in on that wind advisory until eight. Now winds right now are sustained anywhere from the west northwest to 10 to 20 miles an hour. And they're coming up with gusts that are intense across the tri too. You can see the winds gusting out there if you're even, uh, you know, maybe at home and hearing the noise, of the branches rolling around outside, and you're likely going to have to do some pickup after today in terms of branches coming down in the yard. So we're watching for that too. 35 mile an hour gusts right now in Galax. I've seen it as high as 44 miles an hour within the last few minutes in the mountains. You're expecting 76 degrees today. And I say that because we're getting some good downsloping. That's the west wind that comes in over the mountains. And when it helps to heat us up, we take you into those mid and upper 70s with 50s a little later today in the mountains as that cold air starts to ride in. It's just going to take a little while. We're still warm there now, sitting in the 60s in many spots. You see those showers and thunder Thunderstorms that rolled through overnight, they were pretty strong, waking a lot of folks up out there. And those of you who slept through it, I'm glad, <laughs> but grateful that we didn't have to wake you up with any warnings for most folks. We did have a warning or two up in Rockingham County overnight. You can see here hints of maybe some wintry action. Yeah, strange to be talking about that on, on such a warm day as we have 70s and sunshine. But this is spring and we're not quite done with getting in some of those cold spells. And we do have some colder air riding in right now with this front. So we're looking at that chance. Tomorrow's going to be a chilly day for us. We want you to be ready with layers, windbreakers too. It's still brisk out there, if not windy. And we've got temperatures that'll be in the 50s most of the day, mid and upper 50s at best. We're a couple degrees cooler than yesterday, but I think we're going to get at least into the upper 70s. We're already there in Burlington right now at 76. You might even hit 80 in Burlington because we're talking about those shower chances out of the picture, the sunshine, and a little delay in getting that cooler air to you. So we look at dry conditions on radar gratefully right now. Those winds, that's the issue that will continue. You notice that the peak in the winds for the triad starting to drop off as we go into about 10 o'clock tonight. But that's pretty high, 21 miles an hour. Not bad for sustained winds. It does mean it could present problems for folks who have asthma, any allergies. We want to caution you about getting outside. And then in addition, folks who may be recovering from any illness uh, and certainly uh, dealing with uh, lots of pollen blowing around. The high pollen counts are intense out there right now. We've got overnight lows that are chilly. Did you see those upper 30s to near 40 in the try? Now, with any luck, those mountain winds will help to keep you from dropping into that freezing zone. And then we'll talk more about those rain chances coming up in the next segment. But we'll talk about rain getting you into your Easter holiday weekend. It does look good for heavy rainfall possibilities right now for folks in the triad on Sunday and soggy kind of cooler conditions, but then back to above normal temperature. So looking forward to that.